You guys, I went to Dollar Tree and I got some brand new items. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, it's true. I went to Dollar Tree. I found some fantastic home decor pieces and I was absolutely blown away by some of this stuff. Um, by the way, yes, this is part of my new craft room. Um, you guys are kind of getting a sneak peek here. There is a video that's going to be coming out probably in about another week or so that will kind of give you the whole tour. But this is going to be my new backdrop, which I'm super, super happy about. All right, you guys, let's just jump into it. This is not a big haul by any means, but there's definitely some very cool items. Now, I found these two great vases at Dollar Tree. This is the first one that I saw. Uh, this one was available in three different colors. I want to say they had white and I think they had a gray. I grabbed this black color because I really, really loved it. I kind of loved this mid-century, almost modern, you know, this mid-century modern kind of vibe. I really loved this one as well. This one also came in a couple different colors. So I thought this could be a nice addition to possibly here in the craft room, but also also to my living room space, honestly, I was honestly thinking about putting these on my mantle. So uh, more to come there. I'm gonna pop these over on the side there. Um, now the other thing that I saw, whoa, I almost dropped everything that I bought and there was some glassware in there. Uh, so I also got these and these were available in like four different colors and four different styles. Um, this is fantastic, y'all. This is a great little just kind of trinket box. And look how cool that is on the inside. I fell in love with these. There were probably four different colors and different styles and different patterns. This one's kind of got that uh, kind of weave pattern. I don't know exactly what to say, what to call it. And then they had a smaller kind of companion. And I noticed that every one of these that they had, they had one too that had a, a round, kind of a rounded top to it. But I thought, like, how cute is that just stacked on top of each other? And, you know, I'm trying to do more decorative approach here with my craft room stuff. So, like, I want to put, like, my drill bits or, like, small things like that in these types of containers. How beautiful is that going to be up there on the shelves? I definitely have to find a place for it. But um, I loved those as soon as I found it. I need to put a little table or something over here because I'm like popping things over on the floor. Uh, this was another home decor piece that I snagged and uh, they had this in two different colors also, but they had these really great wooden apples. Now, all of them are a little funky with the glue that's kind of on the stem there, but um, again, super, super cute, super cute for home decor. Can you imagine? like getting a basket of these and putting them on your coffee table, like in a rattan basket or something like that. That could be some really, really beautiful home decor. This one was also in, I wanna say this was in white, but like, I just love the way that um, that just looks on a shelf, super cute. I'm gonna move my New York City snow globe somewhere. I'll just put it there for right now. But um, super, super cute, right? Really, really loved that and thought that that was a great, great thing. Uh, by the way, too, remember, we're keeping our receipts and we are scanning them into an app called Fetch Rewards. If you're not familiar with Fetch Rewards, there is a link down in the description box. With Fetch Rewards, every time you go shopping, you scan your receipt and you're going to earn points. And what's really cool is that you can take those points and then redeem them for gift cards and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're not familiar with Fetch Rewards, go ahead and check it out. There's a link in the description box and you'll get some points when you scan your first receipt, which is definitely cool. I also grabbed this because I did want this in the craft room. You'll see when I do the craft room tour that um, things are going to be a little different than they have been in the past. Um, but I wanted this caddy and of course I had to grab it in my favorite color, but it's a drink caddy. Um, these are in the school sections. It's kind of a cup caddy. It's six holders. How great is this though for so many things? Think about like your barbecues, taking like silverware and stuff outside. Maybe I'm going to put tools in mine and kind of use this as my kind of toolbox when I'm taking out some different stuff. I've definitely got other toolboxes as well, 
but I kind of think I want to use this for maybe some of my daily kind of essentials. So we'll, we will see about that also. And then um, this next thing I found, I immediately grabbed this because I thought, how cool is this? Now I, I haven't tried it yet. I should use some, uh, get some batteries. It's USB um, A powered, so it does charge, but it's a motion, like a voice, not motion. It's a voice controlled light. How cool is that? It was $1.25. They proudly had the $1.25 on there. And um, this is a dome lamp and it has five unique commands on it. So you can say things like, turn on the light, uh, brighten the light, change the color, dim the light and turn off the light. How cool is that? If this works, this is gonna be fantastic. Uh oh, did you hear that? That's not good. Um, there were several of these. There were uh, quite a few of them and they did have them. Oh, that's just the cord. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, it's a cute size. Look how cute this is. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully this works. And if not, I will have to go back and um, exchange it. Hear that? That's never a good sign. Um, so I'll let you know how this works. Hopefully this is cute and will be, hello. This will be something that uh, I can use on the shelves back there. Um, in the back to school section as well, I love pens. I love having like pens and pencils and different things like that. And uh, on my work, desk where my kind of real estate office is. Um, I have some uh, just fun pens in a pen holder. Look at that one. It's like a little car. How cute is that? I really loved this pen. I have all kinds of pens that just have little fun kind of things like that. Don't ever use them, but they're, they're there. They're just there on the desk. So I'm going to take this one and toss it over there to the real estate side of the room. And, um, Again, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about in a little while. I needed some red felt because I am working on a Christmas in or Christmas in July collaboration and I had to have some red felt for a couple of the DIYs that I'm doing. So I did find this. It's not felt, but it's uh, fabric. Then I also found this red burlap. This is what I use instead of finding felt. But um, this is in the 4th of July section and then this was just in the Crafter Square area where the rest of the stuff is. But it's a really good time to start buying that kind of stuff right now because we know that the holidays are going to sneak up very, very quickly on us. Um, I don't know if this is any good or not. Um, it, it's interesting because it had this $1.25 sticker on it, which I think is something new that Dollar Tree is doing. I did notice, by the way, that um, calendars and day planners have gone up. They're now $1.50. And um, there were several things in the store that I noticed are kind of increasing in uh, price. So $1.25 is not the only increase that we're having. But I found this hairspray, it's called Flex. Um, it's an extra hold. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I thought that I would just go ahead and give it a try. This is also a great size to have for travel and things like that. So I'll let you guys know whether I end up liking that or not. And then um, I also grab, this is um, some of the breakable stuff that I almost dropped just a minute ago. <laughs> so this is not um, one of the breakable items, but these were brand new, or at least they were new to me, I should say. I haven't really been to Dollar Tree in, in uh, <laughs> a week, but <laughs> maybe, maybe a couple weeks. But uh, these little lanterns were very, very cute. And uh, I bought two of them. I bought the two that have kind of that polka dot pattern to them. And uh, these were super cute. They're solar. And uh, <clears throat> remember to go ahead and, you know, get the ones that have this little tag on it. And then when you remove the tag, you can kind of see how bright that is. But that gives you an idea. I know it's hard to tell with the lights in here, but you can see it is. Maybe you can see it against my shirt. You can kind of see it is lighting up. But uh, because I liked how this came off, I'm thinking maybe some fun DIYs can be done with this. So more to come there. And then of course, um, these are the last couple of things that I grabbed. Um, I went to Goodwill on my way home after Dollar Tree. 
And then I had to end up going back to Dollar Tree because I found this at Goodwill and this was $7.09 and uh, I just loved it. I thought it would be really, really great for my mantle. And when I was there, um, I was trying to find candles or something to go in there. I couldn't find anything, but then I remembered I did see some at Dollar Tree and um, I went back and grabbed these. Now I'm thinking, yes, they work perfectly in there. So I did buy three of these because I knew that um, I needed to have at least three for this candle holder. And uh, it does need to be washed. It's a little dusty. I may even paint it. I don't know. But I love that kind of bronzy black color. And um, I mean, come on, those are perfect for it. And uh, I can just put some candles in here and um, you can fill it up with water. You can put floating candles in here. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. So for what, $1.25 times three plus $7, I've got a great decor piece that I can put on my mantle. And it's uh, it's kind of chunky. So I actually really, really like it. Now, um, believe it or not, that is it for this Dollar Tree. This is probably one of my quickest hauls. Um, I bought some food stuff, but nothing too major, like some Alfredo sauce and some crackers and things like that. Um, I am working on some other videos very, very soon. I am doing some more Dollar Tree dinners that are going to be coming up soon. And then I've also got um, the craft room tour, which I'm super, super excited about. And uh, this kind of gives you a little bit of a hint on uh, what's to come. So until next time, I will chat with you guys later. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>